Hey everyone, we are 2AM, that's two assholes and a microphone. My name is Dirk, and this is Crystal, and today we are back with Tom McDonald, Sheeple. Now we've taken a little bit of a break, and sorry about that, but we are trying to kind of narrow down our list of different artists, because I, I think we have too many different ones, and we need to focus on just a few for a while. So we're trying to decide which ones we're going to do that with. But we do know we've got some Adam Calhoun coming. We have some Upchurch coming. Uh, we have a couple of others as well. And we're looking forward to getting to those. And you know, we're still going to go with you know some of the metal tracks because I'm a metal fan like Nightwish and... and uh, love bites and things like that but it, yeah. it's not going to be as frequent as some of the fans would prefer uh, yeah now. some of the fans of those artists uh we might do that maybe once a week once every couple of weeks something like that mm -hmm. um i'm trying i'm pushing for once a week so now this one i'm always looking forward to new tom oh yes always and this one I'm particularly excited about because he was talking about how he takes extra time now. He's taking extra time to put more into the beat and he's playing instruments and doing different things. So I'm wondering if... I, I expect there to be gu guitar and I'm wondering if there's some piano in it. I don't know. But he also said that this is uh, going to piss some people off and... With the title, I can see how that is going to be the case. So, so let's get into it. Look at that face. <laughs> Humans been controlled since the day that they were civilized The truth has been so heavily politicized If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys Find out who you're not allowed to criticize Oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that beat behind him. I like the the beat as well as that uh synthesizer going along with it mm -hmm. adds a it kind of adds a layer of danger to it yeah now let's go <clears throat> back to what he was actually saying yeah humans been controlled since the day that they were civilized the truth has been so heavily politicized if you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Absolutely. Yeah, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. It's always been that way. It's been that way since before we were documenting, documenting time. Well, I mean, you go back to the writings from Babylon, and they kept immaculate records of their civilization. But they had a lot of restrictions on who could be criticized, yep. you know? So, yeah, he's right. It, mm -hmm. It's gone back forever. Yep. And, and the we all know who we're not allowed to criticize in today's day and age. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So. And the visuals in there are freaking phenomenal. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Black folks who are never, ever actual slaves, fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis, controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate. Well, um, the irony in that statement. You're not allowed to criticize black folks who are never, ever actual slaves, fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis, controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate, yeah. while elite folks control other political parties. It's a big lie, trying to make you pick sides, trying to make you burn the cities down and kill each other. They got sick minds, big lies. Mm. I'm sorry, I, I was distracted by the visuals. I like this, uh, like, factory warehouse type setting here that he's in mm -hmm. um and of course the robots mm, like we're all supposed to be to make hate while elite folks control other political parties it's a big lie trying to make you pick sides trying to make yep. you burn the cities down and kill each other they got sick minds big lies deep on the police so that there's big crime to take away our freedom to restore order they let die oh i love that so much try to restore order they let die exactly 
deep on the police so that there's big crime To take away our freedom to restore order they let die Play with people, turn men into women Make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system Change the pronouns of gender is a spectrum so is privilege I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions <laughs> Exactly, exactly It has nothing to do with this nope. This right here has nothing to do with privilege It's what you have and, and the what class you, that you are part of. And what, you, and what you can do for that class if you're not there yet. Yeah. That's what gives you privilege. They starve you with a lack of information and only give you facts through a branded corporation. Distort your worldview with an algorithm that changes based yeah. on propaganda curated for your engagement. Ooh, I like the way he put that together. Based on an algorithm curated. Just... Deal with an algorithm that changes based on propaganda curated for your engagement. Mm -hmm. Propaganda curated for your engagement. Right. They just <clears> keep <throat> shoving stuff in front of your face until you get used to it or desensitized to it. And then just start believing it because it's that's all that's there. Right. We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team, but y'all the sheep. Okay, that big eye in the sky, that's awesome. It really is. But this this hook, though, I'm going to go back to it. This this hook is really good. Mm. Propaganda curated for your engagement. We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But y'all the sheep. Blue the screen's just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. Been writing your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, fleet, bet, cap. They trying to dumb you down. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to show. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back. I like the word play there. He said it fast, but. Nothing's what it seems. Hollywood been writing your brain, controlling your mouth. Yeah. You say lit, fleet, bet, cap. They trying to dumb you down. You say lit, fleek, dope, cap. Yeah, all these buzzwords. And then after a while, everybody's using the same buzzwords to mean different things. Mm -hmm. And nobody knows. There's no real communication going on. None whatsoever because everybody's abbreviating everything. Right. <clears throat> and again, like I said, everybody uses these words to mean different things. They use it in different ways. And so there's no, like I said, there's no real communication. There's no real understanding. Yeah. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout And use minorities in movies for diversity clout yeah. Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them honest Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah <laughs> Took the red pill and the blue pill and just Spit them both in the garbage that, that, that actually is accurate, that sounds a lot like us It was like, uh, <clears throat> you know, we grew up very blue Democrat yeah. You know poor working class blue color people and and, um, then, and then next thing you know we're you know it's 2016 we're considered conservative and our views hadn't changed a bit right and <clears> then <throat> you start looking into the red side of the aisle and it's like no no oh, yeah. both of them are just bad yeah they're both they're both guano so <laughs> Not all of them, mind you. No, just, there are some good people on both sides. Absolutely, but the parties themselves. Yeah. yeah. Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them honest. Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage. Being woke used to mean you understood you're a target. And now right. it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. <laughs> <laughs> having two good legs and never taking a step forward. Mm -hmm. may, maybe hopping a couple of feet back. Right. You agree it's free speech, disagree it's hate speech Erase it if it came from anywhere except the mainstream Trump supporters labeled as the racist, but they can't be Lincoln was Republican and that's who ended slavery Science been politicized, it's easy to see A mask became a symbol of which side you believe But you'll never cure a sickness till you cure the greed Because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free Ooh, you'll never cure a sickness if you never cure the greed 
Because the problem with our natural immunity is, is it's, it's free. free. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you want to find the corruption in anything, in any system, you start following the money. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. They it, It's an old, old adage that money is the root of all evil, and I firmly believe that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with wanting to acquire money to do something positive in your life or in other people's life. But if you're doing it just for the money, just for the uh, acquiring of things or the acquiring of wealth, and there's no purpose behind it other than that, that's when it becomes an issue. I don't even mind you acquiring wealth if, if it's, you know, kind of to put back for a rainy day. <clears throat> if, you go, if you're acquiring wealth... That should be put back for when you can't work and can't contribute for yourself, and you have something there, mm-hmm. something there to retire on. And but just to acquire wealth and and power just for the sake of having wealth and power, right? That's what corrupts people. Well, what it is is it gets it's kind of like uh, when you start collecting something for a reason, right? Uh, let's say you're stockpiling food and the purpose is in case there's an issue later and you need that after a while you just get so stuck in the cycle of collecting the stuff you forget the reason that you started acquiring it in the first place oftentimes yes so yeah Cure a sickness till you cure the greed Because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free Society is broken, want you locked inside a cubicle yes. Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals Tell you that you're fat and poor and you were never beautiful Then tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral we- Oh mm. Yeah <clears throat> that, that, that one hit hard Because that's exactly what happened to uh, Michael Jackson Right He was given all kinds of hell up until he died. Yeah. And then, and then everybody loved him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> right. Exactly. Because it was popular to hate him. But let, let's go back just a sec, because I think he had a different point behind that. Cure the greed, because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free. Society is broken, want you locked inside a cubicle. Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals. Tell you that you're fat and poor and you were never beautiful. Then tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral. We can't be... Yeah, he's just talking about the cycle of um, working. It's a, it's a cy- cycle of keeping you working, keeping you, <clears throat> keeping your self-esteem down, and keeping you dependent upon the system in order to control you better. Right, and they and, and then to increase morale for other people, they talk about how how wonderful of a person you were in your obituary, right, and things like that. It's crazy. It's despicable. That's what it is. Be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But y'all are sheep. Blue the screen's just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. What do y'all believe? my sheep. I like the stacking there. Mm-hmm. Especially with that low tone under the Oh, yeah, you yeah, have that, that drone under mm. there. Yeah, that was really good. Nothing's what it seems. If they can't convince you, they confuse you. They want you dumb and dead. They divided you by race. Rel- if they can't defeat you, they confuse you. They want you dumb or dead. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. If they can't control you, they, you had to be eliminated. Yeah. If they can't convince you, they confuse you They want you dumb and dead They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex Made everybody right and left The hatred got so intense If the other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head (laughs) (laughs) Not wrong Not wrong Anything to stick with the tribe and show how good you are Much we hate the other guys Mm -hmm. Right and left, the hatred got so intense it used to be about coming to an understanding and a compromise for what's best for everybody. And then it turned into, I'm so against the other side that nothing they say could always, could ever be good. Yeah. 
I know I know a few years ago Texas was voting against their best interest because Delaware was voting for it. Right, exactly. That's in, and that's in the United States Senate. And that's just crazy. <laughs> The other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head And the conspiracy theories labeled as misinformation Is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out of the nation The yeah. system treating you like trash and you That's not all of those Some of the conspiracy theories are just crazy Oh but yeah Some of them were labeled conspiracy theories And then Were proven not, true Yeah, and not long after Information is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out of the nation. The system treating you like trash and you got rifles to aim with. Just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. George Orwell, 1984 was his last lecture. George called him thought police. Now we call him fact checkers. Government. Right. <laughs> exactly. He, yeah. George Orwell called them thought police. We call them fact checkers. That's, yep. Yeah. 1984 was his last lecture. George called him thought police. Now we call him back checkers. Government surveillance trying to catch you. They don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital for cash investors. Yep. The system exactly. The mass incarceration is cash for investors. Absolutely. And the thing is, everybody hides behind these big entities, these conglomerates and corporations and all of that, because with, all, with these entities, there's not single people that you can point out and say okay you did this it's your fault it kind of gets lost in this system okay yeah it gets lost in the shuffle because you say it's your fault it says no i'm just i'm, I'm just doing my job i'm just doing my job this person told me to do that and you go to that person as well i'm doing my job i'm this guy told me to do that right <clears throat> and so it it gets lost in that and it's such a closed system and the reason it's able to perpetuate over generations is because the system that they're in, in these entities and these corporations, stays the same no matter who you put in that position. Yeah. So. Catch you, they don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital for cash investors. The system isn't broke, it's working fine. Oppressive and chaotic is how it was designed. They say if we ain't doing nothing wrong, there's nothing to hide. While their agenda and intelligence completely classified. They right. don't teach your rights in school, you never learn them at all. Because they're easy to... Wait a minute. Now, I understand why some things have to be kept secret within the governments. Because Absolutely. they don't want other governments to know. Absolutely. You know. Well, there are certain things that, that are um, top secret because it's too... Because we as civilians don't understand the context behind them. Yeah. In, in a lot of in a lot of cases. Or the complexities. Or the complexities, and we would hear just a small part of it and make our judgments based on that. And right. But, but <laughs> that doesn't take away from what he was saying at all. Not because, even a little bit. Um, because he, he's talking about their agendas. Right. Their agenda is all classified. Yeah. Yeah. And you want us to you want us to follow your you want us to follow and buy into your agenda, but you're not telling us everything. In that in that what you're wanting and us to follow. Oftentimes what little bit is told to us isn't true. Well most of the time, yeah. And we don't find out the truth behind or the motivations behind it until much later. Yeah. And then they wonder why we're all suspicious. Yeah. Mm. It's completely classified. They don't teach you rights in school. You never learn them at all. Because they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are. The only people you can rule are the criminal ones. So they force you into corners till you're breaking the law. We can't be... F Go back just a second. I want to hear that again. Cause they're easy to religions completely classified They don't teach you rights in school, you never learn them at all Cause they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are The only people you can rule are the criminal ones So they force you into corners till you're breaking the law Exactly Um, they don't teach you that in school anymore They used to When we were, um, when I was in school, they, they we had to learn them We but, had We had to learn our rights by the time our kids were in school and they started taking out cursive writing, I was suspicious of that to start with, and everybody kept telling me I was making too big a deal of it. Mm -hmm. It's not really needed, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, all of those old doc documents are written in well, cursive. Well, they're not. They're written in calligraphy, but which is close to cursive. Right. But they're written in such a way that if... 
if the older people, as these kids grow up and the generations that know how to read that stuff die off, they're not going to know whether the copies that they have, say, on the web or whatever, are accurate if they can't check it against the original writings. Mm -hmm. So, and they're not teach they're not teaching the children what rights they do have or what rights they no longer have or anything like that. It's, it's just kind of this feeling around in the dark kind of situation for everybody. Mm -hmm. under the age of 40. Yeah. It's ridiculous. We can't be free. Can't have no and I like the fact that the uh, the robots are waking up. He, he, he's got his black eyes in now. Yeah. We still we're on the same team but y'all are sheep. Blue screams just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. Now, Nova Rockefeller and Jared Potter, they did an awesome job with this video. They most certainly did. Um, I know Jared does the... Uh, he does the CGI stuff. Yeah, the special the green, He does the green screen stuff like that. And that's, that's just freaking awesome. It really is. Now... Tom has really stepped up his uh, production game in the music. He really has. It is just awesome. I I could just sit and listen to just the music. And don't get me wrong. I love the song. The song was great. But um, the music is what blew me away with this one. Which is really weird because that's normally my line. I know, right? <laughs> but... Um, there's so much to discuss in here. There really is. There's so um, much we, we can go back and we can do a whole other video just on the things we haven't covered. Right. Let during, us know. During our pauses. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I am going to have this on my phone. And, yes. Uh, so, what, we, what we'd like to know is, is there a particular point in here, in this song, that struck you? Yeah, um, we would like to have some conversations with y'all, get to know your perspectives mm -hmm. as well. Now, uh, go to Tom's page, give him a like and a comment, leave a few comments, that'll boost up the algorithm for bring, him. Bring it up, bring it up. Absolutely. Uh, like, share, subscribe, ring our little bells, do all the little things. Leave some comments for us, please. Be blessed, y'all. Peace.